Hello everyone, it's Mr. Wesley again, and today we're going to be doing another science experiment. We're going to be looking at the state of matter and what happens when things go from a solid to a liquid. What you're going to need to do is go around your house and look for small things that you think might melt in the sunlight. And then what we're going to do is we're going to set them out and see if they actually melt or not. Here's some of the things you're going to need. One cupcake pan. If you don't have one of these, then an alternative you could use would be an old ice cube tray. You have a crown, a paper clip, a quarter, an eraser, a piece of white chocolate, and a lollipop. Once you've gathered all of your things, you're gonna get a piece of paper out and a pen, and I need you to write all of the items down, and then you're gonna guess whether they're going to melt in the sunlight or not. You're also going to need cupcake wrappers so that your pan is not ruined. Now put the cupcake wrappers into your pan. That way you can start putting your objects in. One tip that I have is to try taping down the wrappers. That way they don't blow away. Now that everything's in place, we're ready to move our experiment outside. Find a place somewhere outside in the direct sunlight to do our experiment. First up, we have our lollipop. As you can see, there's a tiny bit of residue at the bottom, so it's slightly melted. Next up, we have our chocolate, which you can see really melted. I think the one that melted the most would be our crown. As you can see, it's almost basically liquid. Next up, we have our eraser, which did not melt at all. Our quarter, which also did not melt. And finally, the paper clip didn't that we could have done different in this experiment was actually using a thermometer. I just used the temperature on my phone outside, but that could be different and not as accurate as having your own thermometer right by your experiment plate. Another thing, if you want to try this experiment differently, is you could try using a dark pan versus a light pan because different colors attract sunlight differently and that could also affect the temperature. Thank you for joining us this week and comment down below the things that you tried to melt and if they actually melted or not. And hopefully we'll see you next week for another science experiment with Mr. Wesley.